now let's talk about spiral wedging. When we wedge our clay, we're doing so because we're trying to make all of the clay particles moving in the same direction so that when you put them onto the wheel, your clay is set up for success. Since your wheel spins, you want all of the clay particles moving in the same direction as your wheel head. You're also trying to remove all of your air bubbles. Spiral wedging is much easier on your wrist than ram's head wedging. If I'm going to wedge up a larger chunk of clay, I always spiral wedge. But I do think it's slightly more difficult to understand and to grasp. So let's try it. So I have about six pounds of clay and I'm gonna pull the clay into a block. Okay, so I'm gonna take that brick of clay and stand it upright. Both of my hands are gonna cup the clay at the top and my thumbs are on the top of the clay. As I rock back towards myself, I'm gonna use my right hand and I'm going to push away. So I'm rocking back towards myself and pushing away. The spiraling action happens when I stand the clay back up. So now that I've pushed away, if you look at my clay, I have a point on the bottom left. So I'm gonna use my left hand and I'm gonna stand up the clay onto that point. That's the spiraling. My hand motion is the same every single time. It's standing up the clay that spirals it. So now I'm gonna crisscross my thumbs on this top ridge and press away. Here's my point. So I'm gonna slightly lift and turn to the left crisscross my thumbs, push away. Both of my hands are pushing away from me. The only part that's spiraling is because I'm finding this point, which is underneath my left wrist and standing the clay back up. Crisscross my thumbs and push away. So now when I do this faster, you'll see that it starts to look like a conch shell. So even right now, it's already starting to come to a point. So it's wider here and it's more to a point on the backside. So I'm lifting up the clay crisscrossing my thumbs on this top ridge and pressing away. My pressing away is always even. So if I take a second to stop, you can see how it's starting to make a conch shell. This is the point that I keep standing it up on and the clay is circling back on itself, removing all of the air bubbles. Uh, the reason this is easier on your wrist is because you can have one pound of clay or 21 pounds of clay and your hands stay together at the top. You don't have to incorporate all of the clay at one time like you do with ram's head wedging. So I'm gonna stand up my clay, press away. Once you've done this 25 to 30 times, you wanna start going less and less and less and less until your clay is in a cone. This is the top of your clay. This is the bottom. Always double check that you don't have any creases on the base because that could add to an S crack on the bottom of your clay.